welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Thanks a lot for clicking on my video today. I really appreciate your time and attention. Please remember that I sell screen printing equipment and supplies online at catspitscreenprintsupply.com and I also have a storefront, a public storefront, right here in Phoenix, Arizona. So check out my websites for the hours of operation and the location. Okay, so today I wanted to do a quick tips video, quick tips for screen printing, and I want to briefly discuss how to properly use your um, spray adhesives, your mist and your web tack, okay? Because I've had several people uh, having problems with the product coming off of the palette um, immediately after, you know, application. So there's really one major tip that you need to realize and understand and use when you're working with spray adhesives on your manual rotary press or, or your automatic press or what have you. So let's quickly take a look at how to properly spray them and then what should you do in order to make sure that the spray adhesives function properly and don't come off on the inside of the t-shirt, right? This is very simple. When you're using a mist adhesive, whether it's flash or not, it doesn't matter, you're going to want to keep the, the um, can a little bit away from the palette and allow for the spray to fan out a little bit. Okay, and you're gonna wanna evenly apply it across the palette. Okay, now at this point, you have to stop and allow this product to tack up. If you put a shirt on the palette immediately after spraying, the adhesive will come off of the palette and stick to the inside of the shirt, and you'll have an issue with the customer because it may or may not wash out when laundered, depending on how much adhesive is pulled up. Okay, so. The same thing goes for the web tack. Now, web tack is a little different in how you apply it in that you really have to kind of be like Spider-Man because it's kind of like a spider web here. And you have to, you have to kind of, you see how I jerk the can across in order to spray and fan out the web. Okay, so as I hit the nozzle, I'm moving like this. Okay, so. Yeah, and I, I hopefully you can see that on the camera. I'm not sure how that web sprays out and goes on there, okay? And that's how you properly apply web adhesive and mist adhesive. And again, I'm gonna stress, very important, at this point, you have to allow some time for the adhesive to tack up. It might be a minute or two minutes, depending on how much adhesive you just applied to the palette, okay? So this is the critical part that will keep the adhesive on the palette and prevent it from coming off on the inside of the shirt. Simply allow the adhesive to tack up. And you can tell, put your hand down right here and pull it up. If you have adhesive on your hand, it's not ready yet, okay? Adhesive on my hand, it's not ready yet. Adhesive on my hand, it's not ready yet, okay? You should be able to touch it and pull up and your hand should be clean and dry. Okay, so basically that's two tips with one piece of advice being very critical. So first, remember to apply the spray adhesives as evenly as possible. And secondly, and most importantly, allow some time for them to tack up, okay? And one really good way to do this, of course, is to apply the palette adhesive all at the same time. Like if you're doing a six color, six station, you know, type of situation and you're running a multiple color job and you're running all the things, you know, when you set up and put your palette tape on, go ahead and spin them around and apply that uh, adhesive and then go take a break for a couple minutes and, and allow it to, to tack up. And then every time you reapply, you have to allow it to tack up. Otherwise, it will easily come off on the shirt. So that one tip of allowing the adhesive to tack and kind of dry a little bit will prevent it from coming up on the inside of your shirts. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tip today. Please remember if you like my videos, you like the advice I give, 
uh, you know, make sure that you comment, rate thumbs up, and please, most importantly, subscribe to my channel. I can't tell you how important that is and how much it means to me. It's free for you to do. It doesn't cost anything but a click of the mouse, and you help me uh, tremendously in keeping up the video production here on YouTube free for the whole world to enjoy. So click the subscribe button today and help support these free educational videos. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.